Outdoor rooms are a huge trend in landscape design. Think about the last party you had. Where did all the guests end up? Probably the kitchen. And it's no different when you're entertaining outside. Joining us today is Kevin Kloberg from Chatham Landscaping to talk about the design and maintenance of an outdoor kitchen. So let's start at the beginning. You choose all the same appliances that you have indoors, only outside, right? Right, and they have to w weather the test of time. So stainless steel appliances are, are the way to go. Because they don't rust. Don't rust. Yeah. Now this is a 36 inch grill derby and a set of dual doors. It has a refrigerator or an ice maker and it has double drawers. We have a countertop of granite, many choices to pick from. You have a cultured stone facade here. You could have brick, you could have real stone, you could have stucco. Seating for six, very easy to maintain. Everything here could just be hosed down, correct? Absolutely. Wash down, soak down, and walk away. No fuss, no muss. So you can imagine there are many options with these systems, from very basic and small to big and fancy. What, this is kind of a mid-range system, Yeah, this right? is a mid-range. It's uh, middle of the road. They're smaller and there's larger. Why don't we go and take a look? Let's go look. Tell us about this unit. Well, we call this Simplicity. It basically uh, has a 30-inch grill, a set of drawers, a door. It can have a refrigerator, an ice maker, has a granite countertop a brick facade, and it's a five-foot box. Even when uh, you're looking at something this basic, it's important to focus on quality, yes? Absolutely. Even starting at a smaller model, it's so important to have a professional build it out for you. The cuts are very important on the granite and the appliances. Keep in mind this is outdoors, so it could get rained on. You want to make sure that there's no space in between the appliance and the, the foundation. Absolutely. Yeah? And hiring the right professional also means hiring the plumber or the electrician and sometimes they all go together. Yeah, you're dealing with gas and electricity, so it's not the time to cut corners. Absolutely not. And get your permits and do it legal. So if a homeowner has a lot of space and a sizable budget, tell us a little bit about some of the more high-end features they can choose. Well, this is a very large outdoor kitchen, but has serving for 16, a workable space for entertaining, so you could have a chef, a bartender, somebody preparing food. This has a 24 inch commercial grade refrigerator, a 42 inch grill, a side burner that you could be cooking sauces on or, uh, you know, vegetables. This is a Cocktail Pro Darby. It has a cutting board, a working sink. These black containers are for different fruits so that you can serve them into the glass when you serve. This here it can be a working sink or a storage for the ice. The ice is ice machine is placed here purposely to be put so you can fill this area. Okay. This is a cutting board with a working station that allows you to cut and then dispense. So and cool. It's a it's a trash chute. So that goes in like that. We have outdoor switches, outdoor outlets. And with that, lighting that's underneath the counter. So when you're going something this big, it's very important that you hire a professional contractor. Oh, yes. absolutely. This is a large project. You're going to have sewage, which is plumbing, gas, multiple gas areas. And then you have refrigeration. You have water that's needed to make the ice. So yes, there's going to be a lot of professionals that are going to be needed. Let's talk a little bit about creating the ambiance, the vibe of the party. What about shade and lighting? Well, you've got the living umbrellas that we have here. You could do a pergola, you could do an arbor or a covered porch okay. to escape those thunderstorms that do tend to happen in sure. the summer. And then in lighting, you can you can put lighting around the oh, within sure. the trees. Oh, absolutely. Do some outdoor lighting. It could be uh, vertical or horizontal. And it depends on what mood and mode that you're going for. All the ingredients for a fail-proof party. So here's where I'll leave you, enjoying a cool drink on a hot and beautiful day. But I have to say, all this talk about grilling's got me a little hungry. Guys, when's the caterer showing up? <laughs>